Hey guys, welcome back to the St. Thomas Youth YouTube channel. We hope that you're all doing okay. We're going to do things a bit differently today, aren't we, dear? We are. What are we going to do? We are going to do our one essential exercise of the day. Essential. So we're going to go on our walk and we're going to just do the Bible study vlog style. We're going to take you with us. Today we're studying Luke 24 and the bit where it talks about the road to Emmaus. And we thought, what better way to do that than actually go onto a road? and to film as if we were there ourselves. Yeah, Joel's a bit nervous about going outside with camera, like pretending it is a YouTuber. <laughs> I don't really want to vlog in front of people, it's a bit embarrassing, but hey, I'm best to get over myself, aren't I? Um, fantastic, so we won't waste your time here. Let's just crack on, let's go out. Yeah. Fantastic. Great, see you soon. Right, so here we are on the road to Emmaus. No, not quite. <laughs> We're on our daily walk. Oh, yeah. Um, and we thought we would take you over to this place in Newcastle, just outside the city centre, but there's loads of cows in this field. It's pretty weird, actually. You literally see St. James Park, which is a football stadium. Not quite. No. I'll show you in a sec, but um, from where we are. <laughs> um, so it's crazy. We're going to walk past some cows in a second. Yeah, um, we'll show you some up close cow footage. <laughs> 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 That's what you come to the St. Thomas Eaton coach for. Yeah. Um, so, and we're going to talk about the road to Emmaus, what Jesus yeah. walked with the disciples, and how that looked, aren't we? Yeah, what happened in Luke 24? Yes. Do your best cow impression. Mm. <laughs> That's quite good. Mm. <laughs> oh, yeah, this one is not mm. liking you. Oh dear. Guys, I'm going to try and get a selfie with these cows. Here we go. Here we go. All right, lads. <laughs> hey, oh. Easy target. All right, I didn't want any drug bother. <laughs> okay, so the scripture that we're studying today is Luke 24 verses 13 to 34. And this is the story of the road to Emmaus. It is, and, uh, and what happens in this scripture basically is that there's two people um, who are walking from Emmaus to Jerusalem, which is seven miles, uh, a very long walk. We're not going to be doing a seven mile walk. Yeah, it's um, like over two hours. Yeah, it's a very long time to be walking for, and Boris Johnson would be happy with us if we walked no, for two hours. Um, anyway, um, it's just after Jesus has risen, um, and basically they're walking and they're talking about what's happened, chatting about the crucifixion and the resurrection and they're in distress because they've not seen Jesus since he died on the cross and then a man appears to them, starts talking to them. Imagine if Jesus just popped up now. I know, so this man was Jesus but they don't recognise him and they don't know it's him and Jesus starts to question them and ask them what they're talking about and what's going on and they start to tell Jesus about Jesus and say you know this has happened and we're in deep distress and so he just continues to walk with them the whole time and they don't recognize him they don't know it's him and then um, at the end of the passage it says that he, they go to to a house with Jesus and then he breaks bread and gives thanks and when that happens they immediately realize that Jesus is the person they've been spending time with they know that he's risen and they go back and say he is the risen Lord that is basically this passage for today. So the four, first point that we want to draw out of this scripture for you is that Jesus walks alongside you. Now in many times in life we feel alone or we feel deserted and we go through difficult times don't we and um, I think you probably look at those times and think where are you during this time? You may feel like Jesus isn't with you. These disciples are in despair at the moment because they've just seen Jesus die um, and they're nervous, they're, they're upset about that, and they're, um, and they're hurting, they're mourning the death of Jesus. Yeah. And they're going through a really difficult time, and even though um, Jesus was right alongside them in this moment on this road to Emmaus, they didn't realise, they thought that Jesus had left them. Jesus told them time after time that he was going to rise again from the grave. He told them that they were going to resurrect and they doubted him and in this time they felt like he'd left them that he deserted them their hope was in him but to them jesus had left them 
But this wasn't true, he was right alongside them physically, he was right there. And when Jesus went into heaven, he left us his Holy Spirit to take his place on earth. And that means that the Spirit, when we become Christians, lives inside us, but it's also always with us. Um, so no matter what you're going through, just know that Jesus is with you. He never leaves you, he never deserts you. And I think we can take comfort in um, this passage because uh, it says that, you know, the, the people on the road to Emmaus, they didn't recognise Jesus. And I think that sometimes when Jesus is walking with us, we don't recognise it and we don't notice it. And the situations that we find ourselves in can sometimes blind us from seeing Jesus. Um, and I don't know what was going on when they were walking on the road to Emmaus. I don't know why they didn't recognise Jesus. But I think in my own life, I recognise where there's been troubling times and uh, I've definitely found it hard to find Jesus in those times and I think that we can take comfort in it because it's normal and it's okay but it, it's not to say that Jesus doesn't walk with us because he does and this is clearly a great passage to look at to know that Jesus is with us even when we don't see it. And one thing that we want to say as well is that it's normal to feel oh. like what? Can you smell that? Cow pot. Oh it stinks. Stinky cow. Can we move away from it? As I was saying, <laughs> it's normal to feel like um, God is not with you or that he's deserted you or that you're alone. In the Psalms, many times David um, says things like, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Why are you so far from saving me? Even David in the Bible was unsure of where God was in many times. And even though he may have started the Psalm, um, asking God where he is, he ends it by saying that God is his strength and that he knows that he is the Holy One and that he chooses to continue to trust in him and that's the journey that we have to keep taking. It's okay to maybe feel like God is not with you um, and that's a total normal and natural journey which every single person goes through but there comes to a point where we have to um, remember who God is and to trust in what he says. Yeah, and in the previous video we talked about the Psalms being a great place to just go and read uh, in a time like this um, and all through your life. It's a, great, it's a great book to just read about things that we find really difficult and God is still good, uh, knowing that you know David faced those things as well. The Psalms are a brilliant thing uh, at the moment, but particularly Psalm 23 talks about you know, even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me, your rod and your staff protect me and they comfort me. You know, that is such a, an amazing thing to take at this time to just hold close um, and know that even though we walk through really dark times, God is comforting us, God is with us. Um, Fantastic. Well, guys, we hope you've enjoyed today's video. A bit different out in the uh, sun and on our daily walk. Um, if you've enjoyed it, give it a like. We'd love to hear from you as well, so give us a comment as well. Most importantly, subscribe. And um, we can't wait to see you again. See you later, guys. Bye. Right. I'm going to go and give this cow a stroke. Oh. Oh. Oh, that was a big sigh from Mr. Moo. scary when they stand up. Yeah. <laughs>